What's up everybody? You got Lucas Holt here and Addy Net back, back at, at it again. again. Way too early this time. Way too early for us. We're out here braving the cold for you and what we're going to do is we're going to go sit in traffic so you don't have to. We're going to see exactly what the rush hour and everything is like in this Portland area. We're going to strap up good old Betsy here and take her for a ride. So again, remember, give us a call, give us a text, give us an email, and anytime 24 7 and again hit that like hit subscribe and hit that little bell button to be notified every single time we put out a new video so let's go see what this portland traffic is all about All right, so what we're gonna do first here, we're driving south now across the bridge from Vancouver over into Portland itself for you guys. So this is gonna give you a good idea of what this traffic is actually like during the morning time commute for us. So as we're going across here, you can see we're getting a little bit backed up. It's 7.48 in the morning for you guys. The left side of the bridge is gonna be the northbound for you. You can see that's a lot more open right now. So just naturally during the mornings here, traffic's gonna go be going to the south. During the uh, evening times, traffic is gonna be going north for you. So we're going a little bit slower on here. I'm still going at 40 miles per hour that's right now. Good, Speed limit's 50. So stay tuned though. We'll show you as we get closer to downtown here on comes the, the jam up. up here, you'll see how much more congested it gets now. So yeah, as Addy was saying, even just getting over the bridge here, as we're sitting on top of this little bit of hill, you'll actually be able to see it coming up here. It's getting a lot more congested. Downtown's about 10 minutes away right now. So you'll really see that. So stay tuned, we'll show you right when we start hitting downtown what this I-5 actually looks like. <clears throat> All right, so we just got past the actual I-5 bridge itself into Oregon here. And we're what, maybe two, three minutes south of it right now. Yeah. And right, I'd say two exits, three exits down now is where we start hitting the Portland rush hour traffic hard going downtown now. So we went from, you know, going 40 over the we were going 40 over the bridge and now we're all the way back down to 30 right now. So still rolling. It's nothing like the San Diego traffic for you, but we're definitely hitting some bumper to bumper up here. Yeah, you know, I think some of the thing too here in Portland is a lot of these freeways weren't designed for the amount of population we have. So it's, mm -hmm. it's still not even a big city, right? But the roads weren't exactly for it. so like we only have three lanes yep that's it and that's a big big one for us. and you'll see it coming up here as well so as we start getting closer to downtown portland is a bridge town for you so you'll actually notice a lot of these uh roads actually go down to two lanes for us and especially when you're talking about the bridge through the tunnel for us mm -hmm. then you're really talking about a bottleneck down to two so stay tuned and we'll show you those all right so we are now approaching downtown for us our first major bridge is going to be the 405 which cuts into the business district right through downtown for you this is where the heart of the Portland rush hour traffic kind of starts for us. So as we start going, Addy's gonna keep it pointed forward for us and you'll see going through downtown here, what Portland rush hour is actually going to be like for you. All right guys, so right here is where the actual I-5 bottlenecks down to two lanes as well going through downtown here. So 
this is where you see a lot of the traffic kind of getting bottlenecked. It's actually a pretty good day for traffic right now. It usually gets worse, but Addy can show you right here. This is where it bottlenecks down. We're right next to the Moda Center right now where the Trailblazers play. Game time. guys so that was going the i-5 south during what we would consider our rush hour during this early morning period for you guys we're on the bridge now going across the river going over to the 26 to show you guys what that actually looks like from downtown over to the west burbs for you so we're on this this bridge right as you can see i don't think i ever hit below 35 so nice quick easy traffic for us all right so we are headed onto the 26 right now so the 26 going westbound kind of starts right after the south part of downtown there for you by providence park which is where our mls team plays for you so you'll see here we have to go through a freaking tunnel to get from the west side to the east side or vice versa for you. So going westbound right now isn't going to be too crazy, I can't imagine, but going from the west side over to east is usually quite a bear. So stick with us and we'll show you what these roads actually look like. Yeah, that's that's the tough thing is the only route from downtown out to like Intel, Nike, Hillsborough, all these places is this tunnel 26, which we'll show you it's not too bad right now, but it gets all jammed up sometimes. This is what I would say is probably the worst portion of traffic. Whoa, trying to kill Addy here for us. <laughs> this is the worst portion of traffic in all of the greater Portland area for you. This tunnel the dreaded tunnel but i mean most of the time like this you can get through it pretty well you know but when this all jams up it's a little frustrating um we're also this is the way you go to the oregon zoo if you got any kiddos the kiddos love the zoo this time of year they do zoo lights it's kind of neat neat little activity you can see the jam up starting going into downtown going westbound for you and this furthest land closest to us going westbound on the other end there or eastbound is actually a one lane going into downtown portland so you have three lanes over there four actually i believe and you only have one lane going to downtown yeah so that gets backed up at all times of the day this is the reality of the 26 right now for you not and, moving in our opinion the worst portion of traffic in all of the greater portland area is right here right now for you so this is going from the west burbs in beaverton right now over into downtown portland trying to get to the i-5 going south and i mean you can't find a time of day that this isn't backed up right now very honestly this was part of my french this was really shitty highway design yeah. for you so you'll see it three lanes right here the left lane is going to be the only lane that will get you through downtown portland going northbound on that i-5 for you or even the 405 the right two lanes are going to be either going right into downtown on this center lane and the right lane is going to be going into i-5 south so just very honestly really bad poor highway design for you and that's just going to be why it gets backed up at really all times of the day here for you all right guys so the last part that i think we need to show you is this area on shoals ferry road for us shoals ferry is going to be your main artery cutting beaverton 
from north to south for us. The further south you go into Beaverton, the newer Beaverton's going to get. So you'll just see that's where the urban growth boundary keeps on expanding year after year for us. So you're seeing a ton of new construction there. So we're on Shoals Ferry. We're actually going to be crossing Murray, uh, uh, Murray Boulevard for us. So Murray Hill for you. You'll look here further down this area. It's called Progress Ridge for us by Mountainside High School. So as this keeps on getting built up, this is busier and busier traffic. This area of town is the closest of what I would say would be kind of like uh, California, Southern California traffic, where it's going to be a larger street for you. You can see here we got two lanes, some two turning lanes for you, a lot of stoplight, faster speed limit for you. And as time keeps going, this area is going to get just more and more backed up with more people for it. All right, everybody, thank you again so much for tuning in today. Hopefully this video proved to you guys that Portland traffic, it really isn't that bad. As long as you're going north in the morning time or south during the night time, and as long as you try to avoid that tunnel over by the 26, you're gonna be sitting good all day long. And if you're comparing it to the Southern California traffic or any other major metropolitan area, I'd say our traffic's pretty good. So again, don't forget, hit that like, hit subscribe, and hit that little bell button and again if you haven't done so yet give us a call give us a text or give us an email anytime 24 7 and put us to work for you thank you and have a great one